okay all right so basically this is a lesson that is going to talk about json right i am going to be explaining what json is how it looks like and some of the use cases on how to use it i mean some of the methods you can pass onto it to be able to use json i mean the syntax and you know all these little things right so let us first of all go into the project real quick right so we have index.html here and then we have user.json here right now what we are going to do here is we're going to create this really simple uh, HTML project with a, a script tag inside just so we can write some JavaScript or something just so you get the whole idea or get a whole feel of how it, everything works basically so I'm gonna hold shift and one okay so we have this out and then we're going to have to put in the script tag real quick now this is the script so I'm gonna say script right and then i'm just going to enter so inside the script tag we are going to have some javascript in there just so you understand to get a feel of how everything works right now what we are going to do at the moment is i'm going to go into this user.json file uh, basically you would understand how how it looks like and how things work but first of all we need to know what json is now basically json is javascript object notation nothing really uh, nothing complicated i mean the fact that you can hear object inside tells us that it's it functions just like an object right now what are some of the use cases or where are some of the places that you would need json right if you're trying to build something like a rest api or if you're trying to use apis inside your project especially if you're building a project like react and you see all these mern stack type of projects at the end of the day you want to be passing your uh, you you want to be passing your data into your front end like uh, into your front end with a, a inside a json format or with a json format basically so uh, at the end of the day when you get the api and you're trying to display on your web page or something you'd want to be able to display it using the method of displaying objects in general that is why you can hear javascript object notation inside the word and also and also it's in its syntax it sort of looks like an object because it has a key value pair type thing right so basically let me create a quick array of different objects of user information right so i'm going to basically put in my array notation and then i have my curly braces for the first object and i'm going to say username right username and as you can see as i put in username it tells me to put the username inside a double quote so this should tell you that at the end of the day your json keys should always be put inside the double quotes right so i'm going to put in my double quote here and i'm going to put in my double quote here now since this is my key i am basically now going to add its value right now its value is what since it's a string i'm going to have to put in another double quotes for the string so username we are going to use username should be asante so i'm going to put in asante real quick all right now username is asante let me check something here okay we're still recording so this so after you put in your username key right let's say we want to add age right so i add i bring my comma just like what we do in objects right i bring my comma then i come with age right now as you can see it's still telling me to put the keys in my double quotes right you should not forget that so i put the keys in my side my inside my double quotes and then i have my colon and then with the age i can just put in a normal number without the double quotes i mean since it's a number you can just put in there without the double quotes right so what i'm going to put in there is i'm gonna say 19 yeah i'm gonna say 19 so basically now that we have the age section we want to we want to add one more thing right like let's add a boolean right so under it i'm going to say something like is admin as admin and as you can see we still need to add the double quote so i'm just going to press enter since the snippet is already showing that then i'm going to write false okay i could put in true or i could put in false it doesn't really make any difference but at the end of the day we should just remember the syntax of how json works basically right so whenever it's whenever it's a string you want to make sure that you have the double quotes or your single quotes around the string but i would usually recommend you either choose just one of the quotes right whether you want to use double or single i mean 
that totally depends on the person right at the end of the day but you should just make sure that at the end of the day it is in uniform but i mean looking at how json works in general i would recommend you use double quotes right i mean people have personal preferences and stuff but you just can't blame them so yeah so as admin I, I could set that to true i could set that to false it doesn't make any difference right mistake so now i could basically duplicate this i could i could i, I could dip i could duplicate this real quick right so i could do this and then and then i could put paste it here now after pasting it here i could i could change this and say uh i, I could change this and say hillary right i could change this and say hillary and i could change okay so it's a username basically so yeah i could say hillary i could say 22 i could say it's admin to be false right so at the end of the day yeah so you should see that at the end of the day this is the same syntax that is going through it basically right now uh, now that we know that this is the syntax going through it basically we we want to be able to see how we can apply json inside our normal javascript files or our normal work files basically now i'm going to come into my script right i'm going to come into my script real quick and then what i'm going to do here inside my script is uh, i'm basically going to create this quick json object right or this quick object looking like adjacent looking like what is inside adjacent file here and then i'm going to sorry i'm going to pass in a bunch of methods to it right now um json can be manipulated in two ways right we can pass json we we can pass json and we can also uh we can also convert json into a string right so we can say const we can say const user data user data and then we can come here and copy what is here right we can copy this we can copy this and then we can come here and just put it in here just put it in here right so now we have a user data inside our script right we have we have a user data inside our script file now what we are going to do is i just want to console log but before we console log I want to console log, but before I console log, I would want to use NodeMon to do that. So let me just do npm init y. All right. So basically, now that we have a packet.json file here, we want to do a, we want to install NodeMon. So npm i NodeMon real quick. npm i NodeMon, and then installing what i want to do here is i want to create a javascript file i want to create a javascript file say i want to say server.js and then i am going to go into my packet.json and i'll change this to a start script don't worry don't worry this is just to this is just to log out the information i'm just i'm setting up so that we can log out the information that we are getting from the json a, a variable basically or the variable where we want to use to understand how json works right so i'm going to say start then server.js right now start then it comes with nodemon since we have it we already installed nodemon right so now what we want to do is i want to i want to, i'll go back into my index.html file really quick and then what i'll do next is i would instead of putting this in here i would rather put in a source file and i mean a source attribute and then inside that source i'm going to set the path to i'm going to set the path to server.js right and then i'm going to just cut this part out really quick. i'm going to cut this part out real quick and then I would say I would just put it in here okay so if I put it in here and then I say so console the log then I'm going to say user data 
right user data now if i do my npm start here okay so after running my npm start and run my scripts right you can see that it is giving us this object or this json object that we created on top here let me reduce the terminal a bit we have this we have this json object inside our terminal basically what are some of the things i clearly stated that we can convert this json object into a string we could also convert it into an object back right so we can parse it and we can turn it into a string right so how do we do that i can say that so instead of so instead of writing user data here right what i can do right now is i can say json right i can say json dot parse okay but you see okay so json dot parse right and then i'm going to put inside user data right right so now that we have json dot pass user data so there is so as you can see we are getting an error here now how are we getting the error the error here is basically here to explain to you what i basically talked about on the two things that we can do to json files right now i said that we can basically we can both pass them into objects and we can also pass them back into or we can turn them back into strings right so instead of using pass parse here we can rather use stringify right so we can use stringify now when we use stringify we'll be able to get the string version of the json objects that we created here do you get me now after we have the string version see we can put this into a variable right so we can take const const string json const string json should be equal to then we can take this we can cut this out and then we can put it here right and then we can basically just put string json string json here right now now that we have string json and string json has been turned into a string here what we can do is we can we can basically turn this string back into an object now how are we going to do that we can create another variable here saying const const json parse const json parse then we are going to say json dot parse right now json dot parse and then we are going to parse we are going to parse this string json variable that we have here now when we parse this string variable that we have here we can now console log we can console log the json parse variable json parse variable and then we should be able to have this right so if i comment this out real quick if i comment this out you should see only this object right here right now yeah so basically that is what we are talking about right now what i you remember i was talking to you about or i mentioned something about displaying your data on your front end or something now because json can be displayed using the object or basically is displayed using the object. now looking in here okay so since it's an array we can do this and then dot what user name so what what we did here basically is that we said inside our json parse array that we had i want to take the first object inside that array and then i want to log its what user name and then the username inside the first object inside that json array is what asante that is why we are getting asante here so yes basically this is a whole overview of how json works i really hope you understood it you can ask any of your questions inside the comment section and i should be ready and i would be ready to answer all your questions hopefully i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching